Okay, G2 learners, my name is Ms. Hanin and I'll be giving you visual art. That means you just you theme free. How we organize ourselves. In this theme, we will be talking about the related concept movement and art. So I want you to move. Let's see what moves in art. We will use our thinking skills to make unexpected or unusual connections between ideas and the objects you will be creating. Let's be introduced to you the element of our lines. And everything starts with a line, of course. But before we start, we need to look around us. There are a lot of types of lines around us, which as you might see on your left, different types of lines, such as straight line, broken line, zigzag, wavy, curve, spiral. These are all types of lines. But where can we find them around us? Can you find anything around you, KG? Oh, yes, you found a door. The door is straight. So a straight door is an example of lines. And it has a straight line. If you look at your right, the right images, they contain the first one is water. What kind of lines do you see? Do you see wavy lines? Yes, if you did, that's true. Let's see the second photo on your right. Oh, this is wind. What kind of line have they used? Have they used zigzag, wavy, or curved, or spiral? or straight or might be broken think for a moment yes it's true it's spiral we will learn about how lines in an artwork can make a movement during this week we will be exposed to the artist van gogh he is a German artist. If you look at the left, this is one of his artwork. The previous weeks, we talked about something. What do you remember we were talking about? Yes, we were talking about lines. We were talking about lines. Can lines move? Do you think lines can move? If you look at the left, the artist tried to move something with his lines. What is it? Yes, it's true. It's wind. So wind eventually moves through lines. Vincent van Gogh tried to move wind through lines. We will be creating an artwork using movement we will use broken lines curved lines to come up with our work you will create your work from your own creation we will create emotion as if we are going to a walk with our lines Things you'll see and we will use during our classes. Of course, we're going to use scissors, glue, reader, colors, paper, pencils. We will use all of them. I can't wait to see you. KJ2 learns.